I'm gonna show you how to set up your HDRI inside of Blender Octane Render. Here we go. So first thing here, here we are with our just our normal daylight system. Again, if you want to use the side here on the tab, you can use it over here. Uh, basically just click on there and you want daylight environment. That's the, the default, but we want to do an HDR. So we select this and we're going to go down to texture environment, right? And what that's going to do here, if I click down to my object world tab here, you can see what it did. It popped in our world settings here. Now this may look like this for you, right? All I did was change it from all to octane because I'm inside of octane. Now it shows our two, uh, options here. Here is our texture environment. So what I want to do is I want to add an HDR in, uh, to, onto this. Here's our texture input. So let's just go ahead and press shift, shift A, type S, and then type in image. There it is, RGB image. Grab that, drop that into the texture slot, load in your HDRI. Sometimes it says waiting for wait, waiting for image, waiting for image. Make sure you just turn it off and turn it back on. And sometimes it updates, sometimes it doesn't. Boom, and there it is. Now the gamma is off on this. Here it says uh, legacy gamma 2.2. We wanna change that to one, okay? Change that to one, and there it is. This is what we got. There's our scene, it looks very nice. Now we wanna rotate this. I'll show you how to rotate this. If you come down here to UV transform, click this plus button, it pops up our transform node here. And then I think it says top one, translation. And there it is. You can just rotate that around to uh, dial in your look for your scene. Really nice and easy, right? Now, I'm going to show you one other thing, too. Say you wanted to just have a solid background, right? So let's come back up here to texture environment. I'm going to go back to daylight environment, and then I'm going to click back on texture environment just to kind of reset it, right? And then I'm going to go ahead and delete these two here because we're not doing an HDRI. So what I want to do is I just want to have a, a normal background color. So if I change this here, it's changing the whole scene to blue, right? It's changing everything, even my cube. So what we want to do, let me go ahead and change that back. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add a quick texture onto my cube here, go into object, I'm just gonna hit new, and I'm gonna click albedo and just give it a color like that, right? And then what I'm gonna also do is click on our ground plane that I added, and then I'm gonna hit new and check this out. I'm gonna make this ground plane, scroll all the way down to the bottom here, I'm gonna make it a shadow catcher, okay? So there it is. Now I'm gonna go back to my object, to my world mode, and here in the world mode, we find out where our node is, there it is. What we're gonna do here is just duplicate this. I'm gonna basically duplicate, drop this in, and I'm gonna plug this into my visible environment. There we go, nothing really happens because we need to turn it on. If I click this black back plate, boom, well, nothing's happened because it's the same color. So if I change the color here, let's go opposite of red, let's go to blue, there it is. Now I've got this whole scene here, solid background color with just my cube right there. So quick and easy way if you really wanted just to set uh, set up. Now you see my shadow went away. And the only reason why is that was because the denoiser kicked in and we are viewing the denoising pass. So the denoising pass does not include the shadows. If you didn't want that to happen, you just click over here, see denoising, because I have my denoiser set up. I can go back to combined and there it is, right? Okay, super easy and simple. So the next uh, video here I'll probably get into is uh, basically showing you how to control these materials because that was the biggest thing I struggled with was trying to get materials to look right and, and look proper. So we'll get into that into this video.